Hello Ratbags, it's Jay again with another Zeller guide. I've been enjoying doing this, it's kind of what I've just been doing with the last week or so, showing you guys how to defeat all the Zellers. I've not been bothering too much with the marks, I may do a video showcasing where all the locations are if you want a kind of speed for it, but you generally will find a lot of them just by doing the story, a lot of the clues, and they will pop up and then you can just literally mark it down where to find them. But anyhow, Zellers today, triple whammy, we're going to go for three of them because I am kind of on par with a lot of them now. I might still be a bit under level with a couple of them some of them are a bit higher but they're not exactly that challenging as much as they used to be don't get me wrong though they're pretty tough still so i still do want to show you guys we're going to be visiting winchester today we're going to be in london and we're also going to be in scent otherwise known as kent and that's where we're going to be facing three zealots here's some tips here's some guides on how to do so make sure you like make sure you subscribe let's go so like I said, the first one we're going to be taking a look at is Winchester. So this might be pretty much near end game. It's one of the last sort of regions that's quite high. We're looking for the War Hedge or Birkehen, Birkton. He's pretty much going to be just going around the outsides of Wessex. He is level 340 here and I'm nowhere near that level. So he is definitely overpowered. But like I said, it just didn't feel as hard to take down. But he is still dangerous. He's a big chunky boy, this one. So he's got a big massive two-handed axe, you see I just knocked him off his horse and I really didn't do as much damage as I hoped I would. I did have the poison equipment on and definitely you need brush with death. As always, use that skill, you can see they're going slow-mo and getting in some licks. Now again, I was trying some different weapons, I have been overusing just dual-handed smaller axes. So I thought I'd try again with the double axe and actually do a bit more archery, see if I can get my aim because I've been complaining that I've just not been very good at it. And you can see actually a huge difference, getting them weak points early Early on look how much damage it takes from him although I still recommend you want to save the weak points just in case he has any mode where usually they get to half health they start doing a little bit more damage or firing up a new ability which in this instance was he was setting a light his axe and throwing uh, fire traps now I may have made out like I'm a big OG and I can take these guys out pretty easily but as it turns out he nearly had me like I used up all of my food rations to take him down. At this point I should have been just a walk in the park but I just wasn't moving out of the way quick enough of some of these fire traps and I just wasn't prepared enough when he was doing his pretty much lunging. Now again you can tell when he's going to do a big attack he does the foot stump but I just I don't know I just found it really difficult it was this one handed back swing that I found really hard and then he takes no mercy. If you're on the floor, he will carry on swinging. You can see it's almost three unstoppable swings in a row there. The good point is I could stamp on him there, knock him over, and then again he's just going for it again. So you've got to look out for that. It's almost free almost every time. And you can see he's throwing some fire around him, giving some protection, and that's when obviously he may try and uh, refill his life. Although he didn't refill his life on this occasion, I think otherwise maybe he just gains a bit of extra life while he's in the fire. I didn't actually see an animation for him taking a, a swing, a swig or something. So yeah, avoid obviously the landmines, the wooden landmines that someone commented the other day. But you can see he just rinsed me out there, totally took me out. But there we go, we finally done him. And yeah, I could see how low on health I really was. We sweat and toil to reach this moment. The ancient ones lap at my sweat now. That war sweat the Roman gods hate so much, we long for. This god or that. A good feast with fresh battle milk on your brows is not something you will ever taste again. Choke on my bones. Well, ain't you a little bitch, or big bitch, I should say. Also something I didn't realise, and maybe I should have, you can trigger these. So if you've got a bow and arrow, you can fire these off. So if he's laid loads of landmines, and maybe you've had to regroup a second, or there's just been too much issues, and you've had to go and get some health, you can set them off. You can't set them off with torches, though, but with a bow and arrow, you will be able to set these off, just in case you do need to clear a path. Pretty much at the very start of your adventures in Kent, you'll have a eagle vision and then you'll go across from the church, the monastery, and there's a little town. This is a raid spot. So I thought, you know what, I'll try and do two birds, one stone. This next zealot is passing through here. Maybe I can call in my raid party and we'll see if they'll get them to help. A lot of you guys have been telling me that's what you do. And even though they nerfed a few things where you had the boat come along the water and I think a lot of the boats actually start running out arrows or they don't do as much damage to the zealots, I still thought it might be a good idea to give it a try. It was a terrible idea. Do not do this. Maybe if you've cleared this place out already, uh, you've already raided it, like I said, it's really close to the monastery where you begin 
your your next story section so you can't really miss it um it could be an opportunity then to use your guys to bring them on board anyway but yeah i don't know if you can bring your guys if you've already raided it can you repeat the raids i don't think you can but either way my guys were doing all right they were coming up slowly they were taking care of some of the guards but the combination of this dude throwing these spears and these guys was just immense now again i was testing out some of your theories you lot been telling me that i should be using the throw uh, the, the perk the spear back on it doesn't do that much damage you lot have been saying i should do that all the time man you'd be here for years trying to do that method so no i didn't like that at all i decided no this ain't for me i'm gonna reload Although, to be clear, I did take him out, even though it was more difficult. It just took way too long with some of the enemies still pinging off arrows at me and stuff. It just made it much more complicated than it needed to be. So, yeah, I don't recommend doing it this way. Here it is on the map if you do really want to just have a quick glance at where it is. So at this point, he'd gone actually quite a bit further south. So you do have to follow him. He will meander along these roads. So if you don't always find him at that location, just keep heading south and eventually you'll get to him. Um, I took him obviously off his horse here, and this was definitely a much nicer, easier fight. Again, surprisingly, he's still quite challenging. You can see he's not over leveled than me though. I am I got the right kind of level. He's not got red in his name or the number flashing off. He's a pretty ferocious bow and arrow dude, this guy. He's got a big old sword. So yeah, you may want to try taking him on at range, but I would suggest trying to get close as he does pull him off pretty rapidly. You may end up using up a lot of your stamina dodging and moving out of the way. You can see he's also got a pretty ferocious poison ability and flaming jars. But it's more like a blind flash rather than an actual one that does damage. It just disorientates you and you can't see a single thing. And then he starts peppering you with loads of arrows. When it comes to these actual swings, they're not too hard to move around, like you can pretty much tell when I was absolutely tanking in here using my dual handed axe, holding L1 and just doing continuous spins. You can see it's quite wide sweeping and it'll do maybe two in a row or three in a row with the third one being a little stab. If you've got a parry perk or anything like that, it's going to give you more stun and that'll work. But again, it just meant that I could wave on him again using the same thing with the L1. And of course, my trusted old friend, the diving uh, Valkyrie. No more winters for you. Better to die than face my lords. I hope my Magister Magnus forgives me. For so long I looked to him for guidance, for order. If your honor is slow, a true lord cannot forgive you. They cannot. Huh. Now I will turn my gaze to Warden, Tiwar and Shunor. I will continue to turn until I find some forgiveness. You will spin and drill yourself to an endless bottom. Okay, so finishing off in London, again, you'll be doing this fairly early. He will be roaming around the outskirts in this one. In fact, you just go to the west of the city and Cudbert is here. He's going to be level 160. So again, I'm well above that now. I'm like 210, 220, I think, when I was doing this. This guy was pretty much weak source, like obviously just pinging him off or trying to get him off his horse. He's got a spear. The ones with the spears I find are the easiest ones to deal with. It's only when they've got the shield and sword or the shield and spear that they tend to be a bit more. Or them larger ones there sometimes can be a problem if they've got something pretty devastating like the landmines or poison. But otherwise, even the larger ones are pretty easy to deal with. So yeah, I was doing a fair amount of damage here. And again, thank you guys. I finally started using the the harpoon pool because you guys were telling me it's op you see i stopped him from doing something now i think he's pretty much going to put a poison or a flame on his spear i don't think he was necessarily going to reheal himself completely um but yeah this fight didn't last too long at all pretty much slowing down time moving around him back with my favorite little axes rather than the uh, the dual handed one as i was trying to give one of the hammers a go and i just kind of wailed and beasted on him so we really didn't have too many problems with this guy at all i guess with that attack there you may need to be a bit careful but yeah he seemed pretty easy compared to the other two man i've got to stop ruining these sequences with me just taking screenshots but obviously i'm trying to find them for the thumbnails but that's him done and dusted <coughs> all of these men of god festooned in gold and silver it is enough to make one blind we are blind of now lanius was our only king he saw straight and fought alongside Arturius. We have been blind ever since.
I've done so many of these now, so if you have any problems with any of the Zedots, go and check through the playlist and you should hopefully find it properly titled which Zedot it is and to whether or not I had trouble defeating him or not. Obviously the big one that blew up for me, it's the most watched video, it's like over 120,000 views now, so thank you so much for the support in taking on Airfine. If you guys have got any tips, let me know. Interestingly, he gave me a pretty decent rune this time. I don't know if it was only because of the latest patch, but I found when I was doing these early, before 1.04, I wasn't getting really any rewards, but now that I'm starting to defeat these guys and some of the older Drengers, I'm definitely getting a lot more rewards, so I think like there's been, there was probably something wrong in not getting some extra runes from some of these guys. And just to leave you with a teaser, I am working on Folk, I am going to be showing you the big bosses from the order when I go and take them on, that will be a part of this series as well. So until next time Ratbags, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you lots later.